property market to finish off. Adrian Bow, how was it last weekend? What can we expect this weekend? Thanks, Erin. We had over 69% auction clearance rate, which is very consistent with the last few weeks, and 1,850 auctions tomorrow, which we're looking forward to nationally. Are more investors cashing in due to the interest rate rises? What are you seeing? They definitely are. We've noticed over the last month a 30% increase of property shifting from the for lease section to the for sale section. So that's a lot of people taking advantage of that capital growth and mm. obviously the pain of mortgage rates increasing. But it is providing a bit of a property paradox because you've got higher supply allowing owner-occupiers to buy but also a lack of rental accommodation because of those rental properties coming off the market. Market. You've made a couple of very good predictions that have eventuated on this show. Yes. Interest rates, what happens next? I think Michelle Bullock, who is the Deputy Governor of the RBA, made a really good speech on Tuesday this week. She said we're going to adopt a more patient approach to lowering inflation. Mm. And also she did indicate that the demonising of coal and this obsession with renewables has contributed to inflation. So yes. that was quite refreshing to hear a different oh, approach. Isn't yeah, that so, nice to hear? Yes. <laughs> Yay. Uh, finally, the most viewed property of the week, Adrian. Brighton is one of my favourite suburbs in Melbourne, yes. in Victoria. This is over a 1,000 square metres of land. It's a brand new home and due to the oh. difficulty of finding builders and also the costs of, of uh, construction have gone so high that something like this is going to be huge demand. It's a turnkey property, $12 million and a, just a stunning, stunning property in a great location.